It's the Donuts Awesome Map Network. It's the it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Map Network. Welcome back to the Mr. Donuts Awesome Map Network. I'm your host, Mr. Donuts. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to the network. Like this video. Comment below. Did you like it or nah? What could we do different or nah? What could I cover next or nah? And be sure to follow me on Instagram at the tag below, Donez underscore the big action. Today we'll be talking about the distributive property. Now, the distributive property is something that comes up a lot, especially when you start hitting later mathematics, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, a thousandth grade. Now, the distributive property says, literally says, the definition of the distributive law says that multiplying a number by a group of numbers that are being added together is the same as doing each multiplication separately. In this first example, we have the number three on the outside of the set of parentheses, open parentheses. Within the parentheses, we have four plus two plus three, closed parentheses. Now, when you're distributing, what I want you to imagine is that this number three is like a chef. Right, and he cooks this delicious soup in his sancocho. Right, and inside we have the four, the two, and the three. And this chef, he wants to make sure everybody eats. Everybody eats. And the way he's gonna make sure is he's gonna distribute himself. He's gonna distribute his meal through multiplication to each of these terms, one at a time. We're gonna do three times four. Three times four is twelve. We're gonna keep that addition sign. We're gonna go three times two. That gives us six. Bring down that other addition sign, and we're gonna go three times three, which is nine. We're then gonna add 12 plus six plus nine. 12 plus six is 18, and 18 plus nine is 27. So that's one way to In do it. In this final example, we have the number two being multiplied by these terms inside the parentheses, two x minus six plus four x. We're gonna start with two times two x. We're gonna get 4x as our product. Then we're gonna multiply two. We're gonna bring down this subtraction symbol. Two times six is 12. And then last but not least, we're gonna distribute the number two and multiply by 4x, and that gives us 8x. We're gonna ask ourselves, can we combine any of these terms? Well, 4x, 8x have the same variable of x. Four plus eight is 12, x, and then I'm gonna bring down this subtraction symbol, 12. These terms can no longer be simplified because they do not have the same variable. We're left with the final expression of 12x minus 12. So just as a little recap, dip, 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 dip. so just as a little recap, when we're doing this, so just as a little recap, distributive property tells us that we can multiply whatever numbers on the outside of parentheses by every term that is within the parentheses and then see if that expression can be simplified anymore. I'm Mr. Donis. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mr. Donis, awesome map network. It's the, it's the awesome map network. Network, yeah, yeah. Math network.